Cigarbox Nation, it's Shane Spiel. I am down here in my studio. Welcome to Cigarbox Nation TV. I've got some weird stuff for you today. Now we've been talking a lot lately about getting ready for building guitars for the holidays and I've been giving you tips on building in bulk and getting cheap prices on, on parts. Can we just throw that all aside for today? It's Friday. I'm starting to see Christmas ads already, and quite honestly, that's the last thing I want to do with these broadcasts is just to push Christmas. So today's going to be a fun one. First of all, welcome to Cigar Box Nation TV. My name is Shane Spiel. Share this on your Facebook timeline right now. Please help us to uh, spread the word about Cigar Box guitars, and today we're going to be talking about experimental musical instruments. I'm going to show you how to take these little parts that are on the table in front of me and create the weirdest garbling instrument you've ever heard. I want to thank our sponsor, CBGiddy.com. CBGiddy makes this guitar that I opened the show with. This is their Two Cent Jenny. Uh, they sell this on the website. They also have the new AJ Gaither model, the four-string Arkansas tenor. Check this. This guitar is awesome. Check it out. It is well worth it. And uh, you know, I did want to give a shout out to their cigar box ukulele kits as well. So thank you to our sponsor CB Giddy. Um, they provide this airtime. They provide the cameras and everything else. So so thanks to those guys up there. Okay, let's get weird. Um, I always try to give you guys all the information I've ever used in my career as a musical instrument builder. Well, my life took a radical turn in the late 90s when I discovered this book and CD. This is called Gravichords, Whirlies, and Pyrophones. It is now out of print. You can go on Amazon and find the CD, and sometimes you find the CD in a smaller book. This was the original version. Sometimes you could just find the CD um, or, a, or a smaller, like I said, a smaller version of the book and everything. Gravichords, Whirlies, and Pyrophones. This is a collection of weird experimental musical instruments. We're talking, it doesn't even need to sound like Do Re Mi. I mean, it can sound like strange screams, weird noises, but everything is homemade instruments. And uh, this, this whole set came about from a magazine that used to be published called Experimental Musical Instruments Magazine. This is out of print as well. However, I've got good news for you guys. If you go to Wind World, W-I-N-D, W-O-R-L-D, windworld.com, you can get their entire set of back issues of experimental musical instruments on CD-ROM. I did that because I only had a few copies of the originals, which, by the way, check that out. That was the time I made the cover. <laughs> was that, March 1999? It was a two-string wine box bass that I made for the late Alan Woody of Government Mule. But I got their CD-ROM and I went and I spent the time and I printed out every back issue. And a lot of the stuff that I teach you guys comes directly from these pages. This magazine ran for many years and it is highly, highly recommended. You guys need to be, if you're into building your own instruments and coming up with new ideas, you need to read Experimental Musical Instruments magazine. Um, okay, that is the introduction. What I'm going to be showing you is one of the instruments that it is, and it is a very simple version of an instrument used in the Gravichords, Whirlies, and Pyrophones album. This was invented by a German avant-garde composer named Hans Reichel. And Hans called this thing the daxophone, or doxophone, or dox in German is badger, because he felt this instrument sounded like a... a freakish badger. And what it is, I'll hold off on that picture and show you in a second. What it is, he started out with a ruler. 
Now, you know, I use rollers on fretboards for cigar box guitars, but he took a ruler and just like every school kid did the old, you know, letting it, playing it like a bass on the side of a table. And then he started wondering what would happen to the acoustical properties if I electrified this and used a violin bow. This is going to freak you out, people. Um, okay. Daxophone. He did this. He made these. He, he comes up with beautiful versions of it, all handmade. That's his. As you can see, he uses, instead of rulers, he uses different pieces of hardwood in different shapes. And he has a little base, but on that base is a piezo pickup. I'm going to show you how to make one of these, and I'm going to show you how to play it. You're going to go nuts. First of all, you need one of these. This is one of those little clip-on piezo pickups the CB Giddy sells. Giddy, are you doing comments right now? If you are, put a link to this thing. It's like an $8 pickup, and it's it just clips on the guitars. People use it. Now, i got the amp cranked. But people can use it by, you know, just putting it on the bridge and electrifying things. Okay, you need one of these. You need two wood clamps. You need a section of a yardstick, a guitar slide, and a violin bow. This is so wild, and it's so simple. I'm going to put this yardstick about one, two, three, four, five, six about seven inches out from the table. And I'm gonna put a wood clamp right here, right at the edge. I'm gonna put it right here, and I'm gonna put one back at the end to keep it in place. And we're starting with seven inches, but as we get in into it, we will extend the length and everything else. The pickup, you're gonna put right behind this wood clamp because the pickup is going to get the vibrations of the wood. Now let me pick up all my little props here. I'm going to put them aside and show you. Right there. You have about seven inches of ruler, the pickup right behind the wood clamp, and another wood clamp back here. Get a highly rosined bow. I really rosined this thing up to get it nice and sticky before I went on the broadcast. Now, before we even use the guitar slide, started out with just the old you know taking it like a school kid would but taking a violin bow to it just excites the whole wooden ruler and the little piezo picks it up the guitar slide I'm just doing it on the side of the ruler right now let me uh, get my director's chair here, and I'm going to give you a little close-up here. This is only the beginning. Put the slide on straight. getting weird that's the thrill of this instrument is the the ungodly sounds that it makes just and just it all anywhere that you play on the violin bow on this part of the ruler it changes the sound so if you play it on the side, if you play it on the end, if you do it on top here. Mm -hmm. 
Now, okay, it's one thing to be weird. It's another thing to have a practical use for this. And there are. Do you have kids that are in um, drama class in school? If they're doing plays in school and they need sound effects, why are we using CD players and computers for sound effects when we could be teaching the kids the old-fashioned art of what's called Foley, F-O-L-E-Y, and that is using actual acoustic things to make sound effects. You know, just like the old Monty Python using coconuts for the horse hoofs, this could be used for strange creatures in the woods, whatever. We should be teaching our kids this stuff, even just setting this stuff up for our kids to play with and to let their creativity flow. So, like I said, you can change this around and make the ruler longer. I'm going to give it about another two to three inches of length and uh, put my clamps back here. And you get a... You can get a Chewbacca sound out of this if I do it right. There's a two. I, I had it earlier. It was, Violin bows are cheap on eBay. Remember that. Get a cheap Chinese violin bow from eBay. Don't forget to get rosin as well. Then there's, there can be subtle sounds. Like a snoring monster. And it's also a fun thing that if you want to create a whacked out instrument, if you're selling cigar box guitars and you're at some festival and you want just something freakish to get people's attention, then why not take a ruler, put it on a cigar box with a piezo inside and sit there with a violin bow and make all these sounds to attract people to your vending tent. All these things are so much involved with. I mean, that is a saxophone. Hans Reichel actually has CDs of this stuff, and he has taken and done multi-tracking and you know we have a problem I wanted to play some of some of it for you here uh, on the broadcast but Facebook has computers that are picking up copyrighted material so I don't I didn't want this broadcast to get thrown away from Facebook you know if I played copyrighted stuff but look him up look him up Hans Reichel R-E-I-C-H-E-L Hans Reichel. Dude, just get this book. Go on Amazon. Find the book. Find the CD. Something or other. It's, this stuff is out there. There's a second one, too. It's light blue, and it's called Orbitones, Spoon Harps, and Bellophones. It's just as good. Um, but if you're going to be building instruments, if you're going to be building homemade instruments, and you want to push the envelope, this stuff is a rabbit hole you can't afford to miss. So check them out. Windworld.com has the back issues of experimental musical instruments. And I wonder if this, how old is this? Oh, check this out.
This is so old. Behold my beautiful mullet in the picture. Right, right there. Me and my beautiful mullet. Oh, man. That sucker went the whole way down the bed. So that was many years ago. Uh, experimental musical instruments, wind worlds, gravichords, and uh, pyrophone, or py gravichords, whirlies, and pyrophones, and uh, the daxophone. By the way, I only have this plugged into an amp with reverb. Imagine if you hook this sucker up to your pedal board and put your looper on and put all the other weird distortions and other effects on it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I got for you. My name is Shane Spiel. I'm here to twist your world, to screw it up, and to get you thinking about all these different things. Follow down a rabbit hole this weekend. Go build a really cool instrument um, and push the boundaries. That's what I got for you guys. It is Friday. Um, you guys have an awesome weekend. I'm going to get out to the woodshed. i got some cigar box guitars to build. Uh, next Tuesday, Election Day Tuesday, we have, instead of uh, the, these Election 2016, we are having Distraction 2016. On Election Day, Tuesday afternoon, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the U.S., we are going to be broadcasting Him For Her in concert up at Giddy's Juke Shack Studio. That's Him For Her on this very Facebook page next Tuesday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They're going to be performing for at least an hour, if not an hour and a half. Uh, we're talking about you know, the cigar box guitar, one man band, foot drum, banjos, all the stuff that they do. You do not want to miss this. Him for her next Tuesday. And then the following Tuesday night, we just made the announcement. The CBS TV show drama, Bull, B-U-L-L, -L, Tuesday, November 15th at 9 p.m. on CBS. In the episode of Bull. You are going to see cigar box guitars. Part of the episode is they're tracking down someone or something, and they go into the wood shop of a builder of unusual instruments. Well, almost all of those instruments were provided by C.B. Giddy. He drove from New Hampshire down to upstate New York and uh, had an entire carload full of cigar box guitars. And, uh, in fact, he took one of mine in there, and he said it's in on the set. So I can't wait to watch it. So CBS, the TV show is called Bull, and it'll be on uh, Tuesday, November 15th. But before that, next week on Tuesday, uh, Election Day, Him For Her, we got him live in concert on Facebook here because the world has had enough politics. Uh, it's time to make America groove again. So my name is Shane Spiel. Thank you for watching. Share this on your Facebook timeline. Share it. Check out our sponsor. CBGiddy.com. If you uh, are into YouTube, go to YouTube and search Cigar Box Nation. We've got our own channel there. And of course, spend some time at CigarBoxNation.com. We've got a lot more features there and all those free plans for you to download and build yourself. So for me, I'm Shane Spill, and this is my DIY Daxophone. <laughs> Have a good weekend. I'll see you later.